Cuenca has a thriving arts community. In this Explore Ecuador episode, you can experience art and also get hands-on. Join us as we look in on a continuing art event called Vino and Van Gogh. Hosted by Cafe San Sebas and led by Artista Amelia Earl. Here you can start with a blank canvas and leave with a finished painting, all while enjoying the creative community and great food. Whether you live in Cuenca or are just visiting, no matter what language you speak, you can join in, make friends, and your own masterpiece. ago when I first came to Cuenca and realized that there wasn't places for expats to come to or people that have even lived here and traveled the United States and missed comfort food that we bring from the south part of the United States, Texas and New Mexico. New Mexico. Louisiana. We call it Tex-Mex food that yeah. we have here. And Vito Van Gogh started when we met Amelia and, and people were interested in doing something different in the night. Hi guys, welcome, bienvenido, salud. Uh, we're here tonight to drink and paint. So we decided to create this atmosphere where people can come and build a community of artists and start from finger painters to experienced artists. Yeah. And I'm Amelia. <laughs> I'm in charge of this crazy mess. And as you can see, there's art all over the restaurant now and it's all artists that started and some of, I mean, they never painted and it looks like they've been painting for years and years and years. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. So everybody's already started. You can see that we, most of these people know what they're doing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're developing a background right now. So they are developing the basis of what's to come. This will evolve over the course of the evening and they will morph and they will change. And this might not look anything like it did right now, but that's the beauty of it. So this is just the loosening up stage with the big brush and no details yet, really. And I run around and give advice. <laughs> Good advice. And of course, if you all want to paint from real roses, we have plenty. And you'll all take one home tonight. These things are beautiful. And you can see behind us some of these people have the roses actually just on their, on their easel for their inspiration. They're actually painting directly off there. Uh, Hugh, tell me, where do you grow these roses to get them so big and beautiful? Our roses are grown beneath the Cotopaxi volcano in the La Tacunga area of Ecuador. We do ship them to the States. We ship them only from our farm partners here in Ecuador, direct to the U.S. So we really appreciate you bringing these tonight. This is going to be beautiful to see what these guys can create. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you, Scott. Absolutely. Take care, man. Artists begin arriving at 5 p.m. They continue painting, enjoying their evening of good conversation, food and drink, and refining their art until 9 p.m. He's an incredible artist, a professor, lived all over the world, and every painting that he paints has a story that goes along with it, which is fascinating. And they're very well developed. He's going to do an illustrated book for his children. I saw you over here all by yourself. I figured you've got to be good at what you're doing. <laughs> How long have you been coming here? Um, two years, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Um, you know, it's, it's really inspiring to come here and see all of these people with a different creative, you know, mentality on how that thinks the same image can show up 25 different ways and it's just... Well, it is, really. And the work that is produced here is, in my opinion, admirable. Absolutely. Uh, really remarkable. No, absolutely. And I think yeah. that, you know, for a lot of people, like in the States, you know, they, they a lot of things, they don't think that things like this may be around. Uh, I think it's been exceptionally good for people of all different ages. We come together and Amelia is so good, she doesn't um, teach in the traditional way. Yeah. She advises and she encourages each one of us to express ourselves Absolutely. as we see and as we feel. 
So Nina, are you going to develop this as far do you think I should? Do you think I should go to I Kansas? like the, I like taking up the space. I okay. think it's more Georgia O'Keeffe. Yeah. You know, yeah, more yeah. powerful. Cameron, that looks fantastic, as always. <laughs> well, and I yeah. like these marks in here. They look yeah. like leaf marks. Yeah. So but I like this composition. Yes, I like that composition too. So that's, that's nice. What I'm trying to mix in Well, there. I think that's a very that's a challenge yep. combining yep. images. And that makes it your original. Yep. Look at K's, everybody. Oh, Come on! Even Scott got in on the fun. Some of our viewers might know what he's painting. And these are all beautiful paintings, but oh. yours really stands out because of the black background. Well, I wanted black. None more black. I like it. It really makes everything stand out. It's a social event. It's more than just making art. You guys are really good. Yes, like Denise. Denise. I'm Denise. I've been here for seven years. It looks like a Denise because this is pretty amazing. <laughs> I know. This I is know. beautiful. Look at that. This is like the abstract vase. Yes, it's the more abstract. And again, I've been here seven years and I'm not a center cityite. Yeah, so yeah. I'm out a little further. So this gives me the companionship that I miss being far out. I love being in the community of Ecuadorians, but it's also really nice to come here and finish something in four hours. Absolutely. That's my challenge, is that's, four hour finish. Four hours is a challenge. Again. That's true, That's I, I can see that as being kind of like everyone's thing each week. And are you painting tonight? Cause you've I'm got trying, a little, I'm in the corner. Got... I've got E and E, that's okay. black and white. All right, I will start adding the petals and we'll see what we got here. Puedes dibujar con este delgado, puedes dibujar los pétalos. Okay. Puedes dibujar todos. I haven't painted in years, but I'm trying. And we're going to see what happens. I have all this beautiful inspiration behind me, although I don't think I'm going to get to that level. <laughs> I heard from some other people that this is not just about the painting, it's about this social event of, of knowing everybody here and seeing them once a week. and. That's kind of why I came, because I didn't know anyone in Cuenca when I arrived, and I knew Frances from a tour that we took, but she wasn't coming for three months later, so I was on my own, so... Go to paint class. Yep. That's what they say. And I never painted before, uh, coming to class, so this is the great. beginning. This is, the it's, beginning. it's a great process, you've come a long way, it's beautiful. Look at this venue, this it's fa fabulous. You've probably seen when the footage, but there's paintings all over the place here. All from students all from that students. have never painted before. Yeah. Most. has been coming for a year and a half and she is now selling her paintings worldwide. Oh, wow. I mean, she had never picked up a paintbrush before. It's incredible. We come here every week on Thursdays. Pueden venir en español, no importa si hablas español o inglés. Es un lugar donde puedes mostrar tu creatividad. You can show your creativity. It's an amazing place to relax and to enjoy time with our friends. Pero sobre todo para entender una perspectiva de corazón, de relajarte, de hacer amistad. Pero lo más lindo de todo, de conocer la gente y la interculturalidad entre el inglés y el español. Y los que estamos aquí somos eso, un grupo de gente que busca paz y alegría. The night we joined this lively group, we were treated to live music and enjoyed a sing-along. Gonna be with my baby again Gonna hang out with some of my friends I know I'll feel so much better again On Blue Bayou On Blue Bayou 
flowers, we dance, we sing, we eat, we just support each other. It's so cool. Thank you. It's an incredible environment. No, it is. It is. It's very creative. It's inspirational. I get more inspiration than they know. Uh, they're fearless because they, yeah. they, they trust each other. And so I've inspired a lot of new artists. You adapt here. Yeah, I love it here. Welcome to Cuenca. Welcome to Cuenca.